Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K player in existence. And listen up, I think I've done it. I think I have fixed NBA 2K22. I am Fenta, and make sure y'all watch this full video and subscribe if you know, hit that damn like button. But listen, I think I have fixed the game. I think I have stopped the overpowered mismatch badge that they're not gonna patch. You know, the overpowered left, right. I really think. I have fixed it with this build, bro. People gonna hop on the waves. You gonna see, bro. Watch. I'm gonna show you. So make sure y'all watch this so you fully understand, my boy. Now look, we gonna make him a point guard, right? I'm gonna explain every last detail. Right-handed, left-handed, it don't matter. We gonna go with number 24 for Kobe. Man, th this build is amazing. If y'all make this build, let me know, man. Especially y'all that be grinding your badges fast because I definitely would love to use it for a video. This, bro, this build, right? Bro, this build I'm fin to show y'all, you're really gonna be able to stop the midgets that are breaking the game, my nigga, you know? Because mismatch is so overpowered. So first you're gonna make them built, you know? Gotta make them built. Bring the height down to 1.77. You're gonna have a 510 metric system lockdown. You gotta make it in the metric system it's in like the option and the shit you're gonna be 510 you know but you get the attributes of someone that's smaller than that okay i already made another um really fast uh little midget nigga he has 99 speed um yeah i think that's the best version of just the pure scoring version but for um just a bro you're literally gonna have that build in a lockdown bro like like the the best lockdown you can make i'm gonna show you this is the this is the best like two-way god like you're gonna be able, be able to do everything the midgets can do and play immeasurable defense i'm gonna drop another vid later of the build that's just pure like miniature miniature lock just pure god you know and you still will be able to do this but not not as not as amazing okay but this one for now so this is going to be your height your weight and your wingspan man okay now doesn't this look op as hell we're gonna max out this damn three point okay we're gonna have a 99 three okay stupid op we're gonna be able to use this build in pro-am and rec comp pro-am all that we're gonna have a 64 free throw that should be good enough we got an 84 midi and midis are easier to hit, so that should all be cool, right? 97 pass accuracy, 99 ball handle, 92 speed with ball, speed with ball, a little, you know, but it's still amazing, okay? Especially after you see what we fence to do. We gonna max out your interior, okay? Max, huh, we not maxing this. We gonna put this on 95. We gonna put this on 97, max this, Max this, max this. Then we go max this, max this. Then we go max this. Voila. That's your build, man. Doesn't this look phenomenal, bro? Like, doesn't this look phenomenal, bro? Doesn't this look phenomenal, bro? So you're going to stop the mismatch. You're going to stop the mismatch shit. You're going to be able to take this guy to the 1v1. And you're going to have the double locks. And you're going to have 95 perimeter Hall of Fame clamps. The 97 steel. You know, you get all, like, you maxed out ball stripper. You know, you got a little interior if that's going to help anything. You you got badges, bro. Like, and you guarding these little niggas, you're going to be able to keep up with them. The other lockdowns are bigger and they're slower than this. You gonna be able to keep up with the niggas left, right, and then you're gonna negate their mismatch badge. Um, but hey, this could get patched if he decides to patch mismatch altogether. So you know, go at your own risk. Either way, it'll still be an amazing build. But this is specifically to stop that mismatch shit and still be able to, you know, go crazy. Um, there's plenty of niggas using midgets dominating the one v one court, especially the losers out shit. And with this type of build, bro, you could really run duo ball handler ISO or duo ball handler and then 
you know, just destroy the weak uh, defender that ain't got no D. And you you got defense. Like, they not going to suspect this shit like these. You know, you got, you got 28 badges, bro. You're going to be able to run a lot more badges than, like, the usual nigga. But, hey, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the build. If y'all end up making this, let me know. And look at the takeovers, man. You see, we got the lock take, so you really going to be able to go crazy on niggas, bro. You could double up on the lock take. You're going to be getting your takeover like crazy, bro, to be honest. But, you know, it's all up to you, bro. You know, you could rock this shit and, you know, like, because you're going to be you, you gonna be the main scorer, man. But it's, it's all up to you what you want to do, man. And voila, bro, you got to... You got a Chris Paul, you know, just a real miniature demigod. You know what's so funny, bro? I think the niggas who did the build system, they didn't even suspect that, again, that niggas could do this, you know? Like, they have no idea, bro. But, hey, man, it's whatever, bro. <laughs> one more thing, Jackie. I'm going to show y'all one more thing so y'all don't think, like, it's... It's too uh, many defensive badges, like you don't need them. I'm gonna just show you something real quick, right? I'm gonna show you. Now look at this. If ankle becomes OP, you know. But I'm, I'm not even gonna attach this. I'm gonna just put. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put random shit on. Look. You see, you do need defensive badges. Look. So I can't even put on ball stripper or Hall of Fame menace, uh, off ball pests or hustler. So you do need them extra badges you know um if you really trying to be a lock lock but you're not gonna be able to run everything on hall of fame but you know you being a lock lock you know like i'm telling this, this shit valid this build valid nigga man i probably rock something like this on defense man the gold clamps it, it just ain't enough defensive badges i want to run these holes on hall of fame i don't know if this will actually help um if not i'd probably take this hole off to be honest i'm already gonna have 99 stamina so, you know, I'd probably put this hoe on uh, bronze off-ball pest. And, um, yeah, we got the silver ball stripper, the menace, bruh. You know, this could even help more with mismatch. Being able to run this hoe at, uh, on Hall of Fame while guarding and staying in front of an opponent. Their attributes will drop if good defense is being played. So, you know, this, this hurts it even more than the Hall of Fame pickpocket. Plus the um 97 steel we got and look look at this shit. Nigga, this nigga god, bro. Mm, probably make something like this on the playmaking, you feel me? You know? Tight handles are uh ankle breaker. I don't know which one I like more. Y'all let me know which uh ankle breaking badge y'all like more. Um nigga fuck fuck having a uh, dimer and floor general. Nigga, fuck niggas, bro. You can't shit in this game. You fucking... Oh, I'm stupid as shit. Hold on. <laughs> nigga, I didn't put on unpluckable. Nigga, my fucking... Nigga, I don't need bail out. No way, nigga. You know, if I was to take some, bro, it would probably be stop and go or bullet passer. Maybe hyperdrive or quick Jane. I don't really know, bro. I don't care. I don't care what nobody say. If y'all make this whole, let me know so I can use it for a video. And um, yeah, make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that like button, man. Get this vid out there so we can uh stop niggas from abusing mismatch. <laughs> and um, yeah, check out my other gameplay vids. They are absolutely hilarious, my boy. I love all y'all niggas. Make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week and drink a gallon of water a day. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.